guys, it's me, Tommy, and I'm back again. And this time, I'm going to be telling you guys and giving you an update on my natural hair. As you can tell from the title, it is my two-year Big Chop anniversary, and I'm going to give you guys an update, a link check, and everything like that. I know a lot of you guys have been following me just because of my natural hair and because I'm your hair twin. So, hey, hair twins. <laughs> and if you're new to my channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and let's just jump right into it. Okay, I had to move the camera over a little bit so I can get a little bit comfortable in my bathroom. So before I even begin with the length check and the products that I'm using, I just want to give you guys just a little background about me. So I had to sit down so I get a little bit comfortable. <laughs> but I want to give you guys a little background about me and my natural hair journey just so you guys can see the progress that I've made throughout the years. So basically, I have been natural for three years. I stopped my relaxer back in 2014. And the reason why I did that is because the progress that I was making as a relaxed girl wasn't really working out for me. My hair was growing, but I wasn't retaining the length. And I'm going to show you guys just my journey, <laughs> my relaxed hair journey from when I had a short pixie cut to growing it out into the length that it was in 2014. So as you can see through these pictures, is that my hair was growing, but I have to trim it. So I wasn't really retaining the growth that I had when I was relaxing my hair. And that was really frustrating because I feel like I would take three steps forward and then two steps back. And I am a team slow grower. My hair does not grow like the average person. I think the average person's hair grows a half an inch a month. My hair grows less than that. So just relaxing my hair every six months and retaining the length that I have to only cut off inches, it was just really difficult for me. And it was very frustrating because it's like, I don't do anything to my hair like you guys can witness it also like I have a YouTube channel you guys saw all the protective hairstyles that I create on my YouTube channel my hair stays braided and I relax it every six months I don't know what's going on with my hair so I was finally frustrated in 2014 um, I was just venting to my husband and he just was like why don't you just try going natural and literally like it's just like why not <laughs> so that's what i did that was the last time i relaxed my hair it was august 18th of 2014 and i decided to transition into being natural i couldn't i couldn't bear the fact that i had to shave my hair all the way off so i was like nope we're gonna transition into this journey so i transitioned for about a year and then on my one year anniversary is when i decided to big chop my hair and i must say i didn't like it <laughs> i didn't like it at uh, so since the age of seven, I've been relaxed until 2014, so I've never really got a chance to see my natural hair texture. So it was definitely a shock to me when I saw it, and I really did not like it at all. So I just threw a weave in my hair. I mean, that's what I'm good at. Why not? So I threw a curly weave in my hair that looked really cool and it looked really natural, and I actually recorded it. So a lot of you guys, if you are newly natural and you're watching this video, Make sure you look at the links that I have below because I'm going to show you guys a lot of the videos that may be helpful for you and you guys can see my natural hair journey. Um, so I did a video showing you guys how to do a weave on teeny weeny big chop hair and then I just kept letting my hair grow with protective styles by doing wigs and weaves and just keeping my hair braided until one day I was in the shower and I got out of the shower after washing my hair. And I decided what's great about 4C hair is, or 4 texture hair, is that you don't really see your true length <laughs> until it's wet because that's when you get a little bit of weight in it. So I was pulling my hair back to release the water and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I can do a ponytail. So that's when I slapped my Eco Styler Gel in my hair and I'm like, what? It could go in a ponytail. So I actually decided to record that video for you guys on how to do a ponytail on short afro hair. Um, I shouldn't say afro, but just short hair. So I showed you guys how to do that with my little rabbit tail. Of course, I wrapped the, uh, some weave behind it, but it looked really cool. So that was most of the hairstyles that I've been trying, um, you know, for work because I do have a full-time job. So for work, I would just keep my hair in a ponytail and it was really easy for me to manage. Um, and then as I was growing my hair out, I did experiment with my natural hair. Like I've tried some twist outs. Um, I've actually did a wash and go, which I was really psyched about. I've done a clay mask. You guys have seen my clay mask video. And again, I'm going to link all of these videos below in case you're new to my channel. So I've done a clay mask video. Um, let's see what else did I do with my natural hair. I think that's basically it. I, I've never done Bantu knots. 
um, it just wasn't me. So I'm still failing at twist styles. I'm gonna see if I can get that right. I've never did a braid out though, so I should try that too. Now that my hair's a little bit longer. Um, and then I did my one year big chop anniversary. And then ever since then, obviously, continue with the protective styling. So you guys have seen me done wigs. You guys obviously have seen me done wigs. I said that already. <laughs> you guys have seen me done weaves, not wigs again. You guys have seen me done crochet box braids. I've done faux locks. I've done crochet braids. I have done a frontal. What else have I done? I did the lemonade braids. So I've done a lot of different hairstyles just to get to where I am today. So let's just go ahead and go through the light check. So with the light check I'm going to do, I'm going to compare it to what I had done last year so you guys can see how much my hair has grown. And um, two disclaimers, because <laughs> I have to put it out there, because I guys may feel like this is not much of a light check, but two disclaimers. So I did trim my hair before doing this, so my hair is going to be a little bit shorter. It really needed a trim, so I did trim my hair. And secondly, I can't really find the clips <laughs> of when I originally uh, recorded it, so I'm just going to import last year's video into this. So it looks a little bit fuzzy, please excuse that, because I don't know where those clips went. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare it from the way my hair was last year compared to where it is today, so you guys can just see how much growth I have gotten. So let's just start off with the light check, guys. So as you can see, I have a faux wash and go with my hair. So I'm going to try to copy off of what I did last year um, with the sections that I actually recorded with my length check. I might have to switch my camera lens though so you guys can get a full grasp of it or maybe I could just try to see if I can fit it all in this screen. So let's start off with the bang area. Um, the bang area is. So I'm pulling it down and it kind of stops at six and a half. So let's try to slide it down to where it can't go any further. I think I'm getting to the end. Okay. So this year, I'm like right about a nine. And then there we go. So right here. So it's about close to six and a half. So that's the side. I'm trying to keep going. See, I still have some hair there. All right, I think I can stop right here. So my side is like at an 8.2. All right, let's stop there, even though I still have more hair. So the middle of my head is at seven inches. Okay, I think it stops here. So the middle is at sort of at a nine. So I still have some hair there, and that's at 8 inches. That is at a 10, and the length of that is collarbone length also. Alright, so I still feel some hair, so I'm just going to stop right there. So that's about 6.5 as well. Right, and that goes down, down here. All right, right here, I guess we'll stop. It's at eight inches. Okay, my face looks much darker. <laughs> you see that, how my camera just gives you that different look. But anyway, so let's go into seeing how long it is um, when I pull my length down. So let's go ahead and do that so you guys can see the length in the back. So here we go. So that's the length in the back. That was just reviewing some of the footage. If you see any whiteness in my hair, that's just the dryness from the stupid eco style gel that I put in my hair <laughs> to help do this wash and go. So just ignore that. If that's been bothering you, that's what it is. 
So just ignore that. So I want to thank you guys for watching my two-year Big Trap Anniversary three-year natural video. Um, comment below when your Big Trap Anniversary is or when you went natural. I would like to hear all your anniversaries below. And also let me know why you decided to go natural. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.